What'd you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib sandwich. It's a new kind of cue. McRib? I don't see any bones. Hey, who wants bones in a sandwich? Right. McRib is all meat, lean pork that's grilled and simmered in a hickory smoke flavored barbecue sauce, mm. and put on a home style roll with pickles and onions. Well, how about it? Mm -hmm. The McRib sandwich, a new kind of cue. Mm. And this is like fake bone. They're trying to emulate bone and it's flexible. And it's just like a processed meat patty, yo. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing pretty cool. Hey. And thank you and welcome to Mugbang Quality Time. It's me, Ryan, and my daughter, Chunky. And today we are trying the McRib. It's back, you guys. It is back. And guess what? Neither one of us have had it. And I'm super old. Never had it. Do you know why I haven't had it? Why? Because it's not ribs. Nothing, nothing you eat is real, so. Well, it's not actual rib. So what it is, is it's like a meat patty, a pork meat patty. And apparently, I guess they put on onions and pickles mm -hmm. and uh, barbecue sauce. Well, I don't really like onion pickles, so those will be coming off. And it's on a Kaiser bro type bun. It looks good, the bun looks good. Do you know, oh. And for dessert, we'll be having a Snickers peanut brownie bar. This is mm -hmm. new. new. I can't wait to try this. I Me. think it's gonna be pretty tasty. Probably better than the food. Probably better than this food. All right, so okay. um, I'm gonna put straighten up all of this stuff. Did you know this was made by like a legit food scientist? Really? Yeah. For what? Um, Because McDonald's wanted to. So apparently they ran out of chicken. Mm. They ran out of chicken. Can I have a napkin? Uh, yes. Apparently they ran out of chicken nuggets, or chicken one time, and they needed like another meal. I forgot I watched a YouTube video about it. I'll link it at the bottom of this video. But uh, the guy really went in on, you know, the history of the McRib, and it was pretty weird. And like the guy, like, you know, they can put bone in it. So like, I feel like it would have been better. Also. Me too, I really do. I mean, it smells okay. Yeah. It smells okay, you ready to take the first bite? All right, here we go. You're right, it doesn't taste like ribs at all. That was disappointing. It may be. I'd rather eat a burger from Jack in the Box before I would eat this. Yeah, it's pretty gross, you guys. Like, bad. Like, they could have tried to at least make the fake meat taste fake. Like, I can't even do a second. I can't even do a second bite. It's really bad. That's sad. It was really gross. That's not even good thing I got a backup. But you know the Simpsons said what a McRib is. It's just like processed pork. Like a rib, it tastes like liberty. Like a rib with a bun of sesame. We start with authentic letter grated meat and process the hell out of it till it's good enough for crusty. Try my new crusty riblet. Mmm! I don't mind the taste. Okay, Me. but it's not. It's not, it's not good. Well, plan B. All right, you should have you should have done what I did and got a plan B. I should have. And this is just a good old fashioned plain Cheaper. regular cheeseburger from McDonald's. That you was, really can't go wrong with this. That was disappointing. That was disappointing. This is for Chunky. Now. What are you going to do, Dad? I don't know. Like, this is. But I knew on the inside. Yeah. I knew it was going to be gross. Because it was just all pale. Look, that's really look at it. Mm -hmm. For people that really like. But I, I took, oh my gosh, the meat was white. Look at this. For people that like to make, look, it's just like, this is like fake bone. They're trying to emulate bone and it's flexible. 
And it's just like a processed meat patty, yo. Mm -hmm. Like it's hella gross. <sighs> this is what we get though. This is a gift for experiment. This was his idea. I was not on board whatsoever, but. This is uh, this is craptastic. You know it's bad when he says he'd rather eat Jack in the Box. If I'd rather eat Jack in the Box, this may be, I don't understand how people are going crazy over this. I really don't. Well, I do get it. It's called FOMO and great marketing. You know how much money McDonald's puts into marketing? Well, while you're eating your delicious cheeseburger, I'm gonna crack open our Snickers bar mm -hmm. uh, because it's about that time. So they broke it up into four slices. Look at this. This is, it has two servings. So two squares in a serving, 180 calories per serving. So two squares. It's quite a bit. And uh, so that's like 90 calories that's a square. square. Yeah. And it has uh, 18 grams of sugar. That's nine grams of sugar per square. Here's a square for you guys. That's a little math it. for you guys, so you didn't have to do it yourself. You know, a little math for you. Mm -hmm. Let's break it apart. Let's let's break it apart and see what we get. Let's see what we're getting up in here. So it is oh, caramel. Oh, that looks so good. Brownie, and it's supposed to be some peanuts in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't see it, but um. El bon appetito. Oh my gosh. Is it good? And I'm not the biggest caramel person. I love caramel. But they put enough brownie to offset the caramel. Except for paydays. I like payday candy bars. I'm sorry. I gotta get some almond milk. I'm sorry. Good this is. That is a disgrace. Almond milk is like the McRib of milk. No, it's great. Okay. Just All right. This is too good. This is too good. I really like it. Mmm. It's majority brownie. It looks good. What about the peanuts? You get the peanuts in there? You know what? I only put like two in there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good. I gotta try it now. I'm really, I'm not shocked at it. I was just hoping it'd be something better. Yeah, I was really thinking it was something else all the times I heard about it, but it's just not. I had the nerve to put onions on it. And pickles, what? Did you see they have a new thing? Like um, a little pie thing, and it's like a birthday cake pie. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. You had it? It's old. They just keep bringing back old stuff. They don't really bring out new because stuff because they're not doing anything good right now. Okay. You know the saying? You know what I just can't just thought of? Hmm. You know the saying where they say putting lipstick on a pig. That's what they did when they put condiments on oh her. Oh my goodness. It's putting lipstick literally on a pig, but not like one pig, like a whole bunch of pigs. It's not a real pig, it's a fake pig. Well, no, it's a bunch of pigs and they grind it up. Yeah. It's just like chicken nuggets. But their chicken nuggets are actually good. I tried it. The chicken nuggets are no way. You're joking. And their fries are the best, like in the world. No. Oh my goodness. I'm doing this. Just because of my disappointment in McRib. Mm. And anger. Delicious. I know, right? It's so good. I know, right? It tastes like a regular Snickers, but 10 times better than with brownie. Really? Yes. A regular Snickers? Mm hmm. Yeah, zero stick Snickers vibe from it. It's weird. Zero Snickers just tasted like something better. And it has the nuts in it. I, I can taste it. I'm really getting it. I should have got two of those. Mm -hmm. Instead of two McFibs. That's what I'm going to call it. It's a McFib. 
Nobody ever said it was gonna be good. Whoever told you that was lying. Like TV told me. What well, the internet told me. But never trust anything to share on the internet. Don't do that. Well, it depends. Unless it's about to be grilled and they're saying that it's good, don't trust that. We we tried it out for you so you wouldn't have to go through that. Yeah. No, don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. But the French fries are good. Now, the best? Not the best. They are passable. They used to be really good back in the day when they made them out a lot. Are you gonna eat your other um, mm -mm. before? You're not? I don't know why, but I kind of like throwing out of chocolate a little bit. What? Are you serious? Well, yeah. There you have it, folks. McRib is super trash. Gross. Super trash. Hella trash. It's the worst thing ever. It is now. It is. It's. It is. Um. It's Jack in the Box that. Like real life Jack in the Box mm -hmm. that. Never thought I would taste anything that bad from McDonald's. I really didn't. Mm -mm. But kudos to McDonald's marketing. Actually, yes. If you're if you're able to sell something like this mm -hmm. and make it look good, mm -hmm. good job to you. You're that's, that's great. I should have known it wasn't good though. As soon as I looked at, it, I was like, "This is not gonna be good." You know, Homer Simpson does like the McCrusty rib. Mm hmm And if Homer loved it, even though I love Homer, I should have figured it was. It's not gonna be good. At all. But uh yeah. So uh stay away from the mic rib. Mm -hmm. And if you love it, please go get psychiatric Just, like, help. Stay away from me. Like, like call someone. There are places. There's obviously something wrong with you. It is. Um, but please go check this out. Mm -hmm. Go check this out. Get that. Snickers peanut brownie. They barely put any peanuts in it. But it was fantastic, alright? Well, I think that concludes our video. It does. Mm -hmm. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Trash. That was a waste of money. <laughs>